All right, so now that we're done our categorical financial analysis, and I broke the video there so that way we can have a little bit more time to look at the next step, uh, which is creating this uh, item financial analysis. Now, again, I have some shortcuts to be able to make this really quickly, but I want to point out a few things. Number one is I've created an accumulative percent column. And what this means is that if you take uh, the first five items and you add it up all these percentage values it will equal this if you take um all first 10 items it will now equal this if you take of course all 15 items it will be this so what happens is this number here represents 22 percent of items sold are these 15 items right? and that's what that um, basically tells us all right so how do we create this? Well, again, I'm going to copy this template we have. Right-click, move, copy, create a copy. Put it uh, right before the data set. And then uh, what was this supposed to be? This was the item analysis. And um, I'm going to double-check that with the instructions here real quick. Um, so this was, yes, item analysis. Okay, I need to look at the top 15 items. I have to use appropriate formulas. So let's go back here. Well, just like before, um, I have a couple of changes that I need to make. So the first thing, um, I don't need these um, areas of price, sold, unit cost. I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. But what I do need, I'm going to insert a column here. I need something for the accumulated uh, percent. All right, and so I need a copy of all of my descriptive items. Those are going to be here in my column D, right? So um, remember, this is my column D. It might be different for you. It should be relatively the same, but it might not be. Just make sure you take note of that, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the entire column, go to my item analysis, pick something off here, the far right somewhere, uh, paste values. Go to data, remove duplicates, make sure my data has headers is checked. I have 170 unique items. How do I know that? Well, I know that because it says count here and also that dialogue that just popped up just told me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, select this entire column. I need everything because I don't know what my top 15 items are currently. Um, so I need to make sure that when I um, put them in here, that I, I have a, a means to figure out what my top 15 items were. Come over here and just delete those because I don't need that. Okay, so now I have them in here. And so I have the unique items. Now the next thing I need here is if you remember when I look at my formulas, here I have a part here that um, is dollar sign E, which is the column, which was from the categories. Now I need this to be dollar sign D as in dog. How do I know it needs to be D? Because here in this particular item, that was that particular column. There we go. All right. Sorry, I have a couple things with the screencast. So here I'm going to hit uh, all, select all the cells, go to find and replace. I want to replace everything that's dollar sign E with uh, dollar sign D. Replace all. Made 42 replacements, great. I'm going to go ahead and copy and then move all that down. Okay. So this is set up correctly. The next thing I need to do is the accumulated percent. But I'm going to wait to do the accumulated percentage. Uh, the reason is, is because first I want to make sure that I have my top 15 items. What do I know is my top 15 items? Well, simply, if I sort on count from greatest to smallest, so from Z to A, right? And I take the first 15 items, that's my top 15 items, most likely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select description. Um, actually, I'm gonna s and go all the way to, um, uh, the far right of my sheet and all the way down. I'm gonna go to data, I'm gonna go to sort, I'm going to sort by count. I'm going to sort, sort largest to smallest. 
Boom. Okay. Now, occasionally, what happens, right, is that sometimes these values, like the referencing, might get messed up. So I'm going to, it looks like mine is working pretty good. Okay. Oh, that sum has got an issue. We've got to check that one out. Okay. All right. Everything else is looking good. Kind of spot check a few others. All right. So we know the sum value is wrong, but uh, that's okay. We're going to fix that. And then I have to do an accumulated percent. So let me show you how to do these. So first of all, previously with the sum, I would have you select everything. However, um, in this particular case, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to cheat because if I go back to my descriptives, I know that I have 3,000 records in my data set. It's the same for all of them, right? I have 3,000 records. It should be. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to change the denominator of this formula. Instead of doing the sum, it should be 3,000. So I'm just going to change that to that value over 3,000 and then copy that formula over. Okay. So what this number actually represents, this number right here, is that 1.73% of uh, the sales has been regular buffalo chicken, right? <laughs> By the way, this is, if you can't tell, this is my data set that I've been using here for, um, for the example. So I, I'm just double checking, make sure my answers are there. So let's, how do we do this accumulated percent? So, um, it's actually a sum formula that's going to use a combination of absolute and relative values. So basically, um, what I want to do is I want the sum the value of D6 colon D6. Okay. D6, by the way, is referencing my worksheet. Um, it's the, um, it's this cell right here. That's my D6. It might be a different cell for you, so just make sure that you accommodate that. Well, what I want to do is this is the first cell that I want um, to be uh, summed, and then this is the last cell. And as I copy this formula down, I want this one to stay fixed, right? And then I want the second one uh, to move. So let me rephrase that. Um, what I'm actually saying is um, this one here should be absolute and this one here should be relative. Okay. So what does that mean? I'm going to come here, select only the, the D6. Probably the simple way is to put a dollar sign in front of each one. Hit enter. Now watch what happens. Okay. So here I'm going to copy this down take a look at what is happening it's keeping the first cell is d6 which is this one here and then the last cell is d13 which is this one here so as i copy this formula further down it's going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing so d6 is this one here and then d18 is this one here and it's matching them through okay so um, I'm going to finish up copying that formula for everything else. Now, the last thing I need is the top 15 items. So I'm going to select these top 15 items. Something to check is my count here is 15. All right. So I'm going to actually just for simplicity, I'm going to insert a space. And I know that those are my top 15 items. And um, let's make sure I change... save my work please save my work save your work there we go i think we're about ready i think that's how you how you get it done